Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a bilateral meeting with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. And the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Shakir Palace. During the meeting, the remarkable fraternal relations and the means to bolster cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt in all fields were reviewed, and the importance of continuing consultation and coordination for the interest of the two countries and their people was emphasised. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's pride in the visit of the Egyptian president, which will boost the course of strategic relations and joint work at all levels. His Majesty hailed Egypt's vital and effective role in the Middle East region and affirmed that it is the main pillar of the national, Arab and regional security pillars. The Egyptian president reiterated his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the generous hospitality, hailing His Majesty's role and keenness in developing bilateral relations to advanced levels, wishing Bahrain further progress and growth under His Majesty's leadership. The two sides also discussed Arab developments as well as a number of regional and international issues of common interest. In the presence of His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt, a number of agreements and memoranda of understanding between the two countries were signed. An agreement on establishing the Bahraini Egyptian Governmental Committee for Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation, a Legal and Judicial Cooperation Protocol, an MOU in the field of export development, an MOU in the field of organising exhibitions, an executive programme in the field of education 2022-2023, an executive programme in the field of environmental protection 2022 to 2023. An agreement of friendship and cooperation between the capital governorate in Bahrain and the Cairo governorate in Egypt. A non-binding terms and conditions sheet between Egypt's sovereign fund for investment and development and Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, presented the Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sama Shukri, with a certificate granting Egypt the right of sovereignty over the information of its subscribers in the existing cloud computing centres in Bahrain. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziani, also presented to Shukri the Certificate of Accreditation of Egypt as an approved partner of the International Centre for Sea and Air Freight Services. His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt congratulated on the occasion of signing the agreements which will contribute to developing bilateral relations and cooperation. Poet Mohammed Al Halwachi delivered a poem on the occasion. والعلمي والتكنولوجي يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين معالي الشيخ سلمان بن خليفة آل خليفة وزير المالية والاقتصاد الوطني ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية بروتوكول التعاون القانوني والقضائي يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد نواف بن محمد المعاودة وزير العدل والشؤون الإسلامية والأوقاف ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية
مذكرة تفاهم في مجال تنمية الصادرات يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد زايد بن راشد الزياني وزير الصناعة والتجارة ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية مذكرة تفاهم في مجال تنظيم المعارض توقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيدة فاطمة بن جعفر الصيرفي وزيرة السياحة ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية برنامج تنفيذي في مجال التربية والتعليم اتفاقية يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة الدكتور عبد اللطيف بن راشد الزياني وزير الخارجية ونيابة عن جمهورية مصر معالي السيد سامح شكري اتفاق الصداقة والتعاون بين محافظة العاصمة بمملكة البحرين ومحافظة القاهرة بجمهورية مصر العربية يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة الشيخ راشد بن عبد الرحمن آل خليفة محافظ محافظة العاصمة ويوقعها نيابة عن جمهورية مصر العربية معالي السيد سامح شكري وزير الخارجية صحيفة شروط وأحكام غير ملزمة بين صندوق مصر السيادي للاستثمار والتنمية في جمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة وشركة ممتلكات البحرين القابضة في مملكة البحرين يوقعها نيابة عن مملكة البحرين سعادة السيد خالد عمر الرميحي الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة ممتلكات البحرين القابضة وعن جمهورية مصر العربية الدكتورة هالة حلمي سعيد رئيس مجلس إدارة صندوق مصر السيادي للاستثمار والتنمية صاحب الجلالة أيها الحضور الكريم بمناسبة زيارة فخامة رئيس جمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة إلى مملكة البحرين يلقي الشاعر محمد هادي الحلواتي هذه القصيدة وهي بعنوان في حب مصر السلام عليكم في حب مصر جميل الشعر يبتسم في حب مصر جميل الشعر يبتسم ومن هواها الهوى بالشعر يلتحم من دانة الأرض من بحرين انطلقت ولهفة الشوق بالأبيات تضطرم أرض العروبة من تاقت لتربتها روحي فحلق بي من شوقه القلم وطرت فوق براق الحب متخذا جسرا من الشعر لا يرقى له الكلم من ارض دلمنا من ارض دلمنا من بحريننا نطقت شعرا تمازج فيه الشوق والحلم ومن ديار ابي سلمان قد صدعت باسم الاخاء بعقد ليس ينفصم 
ومن ديار أبي سلمان قد صدعت باسم الإخاء بعقد ليس ينفصم كأنها وهي تتلى في محبتكم عقد به اللؤلؤ المنثور ينتظم أو أنها والتحايا ملء أحرفها باقات ورد ولكن حفها النغم إيقاعها كلمات لا تحيط بها معاجم الأرض إذ بالحب ترتسم حيتك يا فارسا دانت لهمته وعزمه في صميم الشدة الهمم ويا فتى عقدت آمال أمته عليه في لحظة بالبأس تتسم فلا توانى غداة الصعب في دعة ولا استكان ولا زلت به القدم ولا تردد في تلقاء معضلة إذ أنه لصواب الرأي يحتكم أنعم بفارس هسيسي من رجل يقود للخير جيشا ليس ينهزم يا ابن الحضارة والأيام شاهدة بأن في مصر عزم ليس ينثلم كأن تاريخها باب يطل على كل الحضارات أرخى فتحه الهرم حضارة تلو أخرى وهي شامخة وكل شبر به الآثار تزدحم وقد أرى النيل يجري في مرابعها مثل اللجين الذي بالتبر يلتئم يسقي جذور المعالي وهي ضاربة في العمق من تربة دامت بها النعم ولست أدري أمصر النيل قد وهبت له أم النيل بالفسطاط يعتصم أو أن في مائه سر فشاربه دانت لهمته الأهرام والقمم أو أن في مائه سر فشاربه دانت لهمته الأهرام والقمم مصر الحضارة مصر الفكر من قدم وموطن المجد لم يزري بها القدم أرض هي الذهب الإبريز تربتها ومن سنا مجدها تسترشد الأمم والله ما قلت بيتا في محبتها إلا وصدقه من أهلها شيم والله ما قلت بيتا في محبتها إلا وصدقه من أهلها شيم يا ابن الحضارة إن النيل ما نضبت مياهه فهو طول الدهر يلتطم وقد أتتك من البحرين قافية لم يختلج حرفها لم يختلج حرفها عي ولا سأم ري الحروف بعذب الود صافية تكاد تقطر من أبياتها الديم تشير أن لكم في القلب منزلة لم يحوها الحرف والقرطاس والقلم أهلا بأحبابنا الغالين في وطن سياجه الخير والأخلاق والقيم وقد أتت من أبي سلمان ناصعة وليس إلا بصدق القول تتهم وكيف لا وهو من دانت لطيبته قوافل الحب من بالخير يلتزم ومن إذا قلت شعرا في محبته أصغت لأبياته الأعراب والعجم ومن به زينت أبيات قافيتي فالطيب منه وطيب الشعر ينسجم فالطيب منه وطيب الشعر ينسجم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honour of the President of Egypt and the accompanying delegation, attended by their Highnesses, Excellencies, Senior Officers of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, attended the opening ceremony of the new passenger terminal at the Bahrain International Airport in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Upon their arrival, they were received by the President of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company, BAC, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed Al Khabi and senior officials in the new Bahrain International Airport's management. Two rows of guards of honour saluted and the Bahraini Arda performed chants of welcome. The inauguration ceremony was attended by senior officials.
تحسيسي رئيس جمهورية مصر العربية الموقر مولاي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المعظم. The president of the board of directors of BAC delivered a speech in which he expressed his pride in His Majesty's vision and inaugurating the new passenger terminal building, which is the largest infrastructure project in the civil aviation sector and represents a qualitative leap in the level of services and airport facilities, the first gateway to Bahrain. He said that the project was implemented in record time, which began in April of 2016 and ended in 2020 without issues in the project's budget. He noted that in the first year of its operation, the airport won a number of international awards from the highest international references for classification and evaluation. He added that in implementation of His Majesty's directives to support Bahraini citizens, they have invested in national competencies and cadres during the implementation period. He also said that this project would not have achieved all of its objectives without the limited support and patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pledged to His Majesty to continue enhancing the Kingdom's position regionally and internationally. من تشغيله حاز المطار على عدد من الجوائز العالمية على أعلى من أعلى المرجعيات العالمية للتصنيف فقد حصل المطار مؤخرا على جائزة أفضل مطار جديد في العالم بالإضافة إلى تصنيف مطار من فئة الخمس نجوم كثالث مطار في الشرق الأوسط يحصل على هذا التصنيف سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة تنفيذا لتوجيهاتكم الكريمة بالاهتمام بالمواطن البحريني باعتباره محور التنمية وغايتها استثمرنا في الكفاءات والكوادر البحرينية من خلال فترة التشغيل ونفتخر اليوم بأنهم من يقومون بتشغيل وصيانة المطار سيدي هذا المشروع ما كان ليحقق أهدافه بنجاح جميعها لولا الدعم اللامحدود والرعاية والمتابعة المستمرة من سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء ونعالكم ختاما بأننا سنستمر ببذل قصارى جهودنا لتعزيز ما كانت المملكة إقليميا ودوليا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President unveiled the commemorative plaque marking the opening of the new passenger terminal. Then His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister received commemorative gifts on the occasion. His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister toured the departure building where they viewed the various facilities that were equipped with the latest technologies to serve travellers and visitors and all regional and international airlines. At the end of the inauguration, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in inaugurating the new airport with the Egyptian President, affirming that it comes in light of the deep-rooted bilateral relations. He affirmed that the new airport enhances the Kingdom's leading regional and international status in the aviation sector, connects it to many world destinations and supports the National Economic March. His Majesty hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in serving the country, enhancing its modern development in all aspects and following up on the completion of this major developmental edifice in the aviation and logistics sector. 
His Majesty also congratulated the President and members of BIC and all its staff on the occasion of the achievement of it as being selected as the best new airport in the world as part of the Skytrax World Airline Awards, recently held in France. He asserted that the achievement reflects the status and international appreciation the Kingdom receive and its continuous achievements and successes in various sectors as a result of the efforts of its people. His Majesty wished BIC staff success in promoting Bahrain's modern, cultural and touristic aspect and providing travellers and visitors with the best services. His Majesty the King affirmed that the developmental efforts are proceeding according to a future vision to make further achievements for a promising future, the development and prosperity of Bahrain and the advancement of its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, farewell upon his departure from Bahrain International Airport after a visit to Bahrain, during which he held talks with His Majesty the King on the strong brotherly relations between the two countries, in addition to the latest developments at the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Highnesses, Excellencies, Senior Officers of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard were also present. A joint statement was issued upon the visit of the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, to Bahrain. It stated that the session of official talks was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi with a review of the deep-rooted historical relations and means to develop them in all fields. The two sides were briefed on the latest developments of joint investments and trade exchange and expressed the aspiration for future cooperation in banking, economic and commercial fields. The two sides discussed regional and international developments of common interest and the challenges facing the countries of the region and affirmed the support for efforts aimed at reaching lasting political solutions to all crises in the region. The two sides stressed the need to intensify efforts to reach a comprehensive and just settlement of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and to find a means to return to serious and effective negotiations to achieve peace. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's full support for Egyptian water security as part of an integral part of Arab water security and urged Ethiopia to abandon its unilateral policy. The Bahraini side expressed its full solidarity with Egypt in all the measures it takes to protect its national security. The two sides affirmed their support to international efforts to find a comprehensive political solution to the Yemeni crisis, according to the approved international references and the initiative of Saudi Arabia to end the Yemeni crisis. They stressed the need to preserve the unity and integrity of the Libyan territories and the importance of Libyans reaching a Libyan solution without any dictates or external interference. The Bahraini side valued Egypt's efforts aimed at restoring Libya's security, unity and sovereignty and hosting the Libyan constitutional track in coordination with the UN. The two sides also stressed the importance of immediately implementing the exit of all foreign forces and mercenaries from Libya, without exception or delay. They welcomed the upcoming summit, which will be hosted by Saudi Arabia, between leaders of the GCC, Jordan, Egypt and the Prime Minister of Iraq, with the US President. They agreed to support Arab efforts to urge Iran to adhere to the international principles of non-interference in the affairs of Arab countries to preserve the principles of good neighbourliness. Their firm support for the international efforts to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon, ensuring the peacefulness of Iran's nuclear programme and the importance of supporting efforts to establish a zone free of nuclear and weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East. The two sides reviewed the latest developments in Ukraine and stressed the need for a ceasefire and resorting to dialogue and diplomatic methods to settle the conflict by peaceful means. The Bahraini side congratulated the leadership, government and people of Egypt on the anniversary of the June 30th revolution, which represented a pivotal station and a turning point in the history of Egypt. His Majesty the King congratulated Egypt on hosting the 27th session of COP27, which will be held in November of 2022 in Sharm el-Sheikh. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed of Somalia on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King expressed his best wishes to the President for good health and happiness and for the Somali people for their stability and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, has ordered deferral of Eid al-Adha clothing for all RHF registered widows and orphans. 
His Majesty the King has signed the RFH, chaired by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to oversee and follow up on the defrayal for all beneficiaries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser offered his best wishes of a blessed Eid al Adha to His Majesty the King, praying to the Almighty to grant His Majesty King Hamad steady health and well-being and protect the leadership, government and people of Bahrain. His Highness also extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for sharing the joy of Eid with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation members, directing to look after them and meeting their needs despite all the challenges facing the country. His Highness praised His Majesty the King's annual gesture, which reflects his keenness on providing various forms of care for families in a way that guarantees them a decent and stable life. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, at Sakir Palace. His Royal Highness emphasised the strong bilateral ties that unite Bahrain and Egypt, which are strengthened by the commitment of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt. His Royal Highness welcomed El Sisi to Bahrain, noting the importance of the visit to the Kingdom, which will include the signing of MOUs and agreements that enhance bilateral relations and cooperation. His Royal Highness commended Egypt's pivotal role in upholding regional security and international peace and stability. The latest regional and international developments, as well as efforts to promote Arab cooperation and coordination to safeguard the interests of Arab countries and their peoples, were also discussed. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the President of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, on Somalia's Independence Day. On the occasion of the visit of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia Zanal, affirmed the deep rooted historical relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the continuous growth they witness in light of the keenness of the two countries' leaderships. Zanal asserted that the exceptional growth of Bahraini-Egyptian relations, in light of the continuous discussions between the two leaders, can contribute to forming a new stage of effective partnership. She noted that the unified Bahraini-Egyptian vision highlighted the deep-rooted relations between the two countries, emphasising the cooperation and coordination in all issues concerned with their partnership. The Speaker hailed the efforts of His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President in supporting efforts aimed at achieving security and stability in the Gulf and Arab region, commending Egypt's firm stances towards Bahrain. She also praised the continuous endeavours to bolster bilateral action and cooperation between Bahrain's government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the Egyptian Prime Minister to achieve common goals. Zanal emphasised the keenness of the Representatives' Council to invest in bilateral relations, to increase effective cooperation with the Parliament of Egypt at the legislative and administrative levels. As part of an official visit to the United States, the Interior Minister, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met the Director of National Intelligence, the Honourable Avril Haines, in attendance of Bahrain's Ambassador to the US, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chief of Public Security, Major General Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. At the beginning of the meeting, the DNI welcomed the visit of the Interior Minister, asserting its importance in promoting bilateral ties. The Minister hailed the strong ties and strategic partnerships between the two countries and the joint efforts in reinforcing regional stability and protecting international security and peace. 
He expressed gratitude for the security, cooperation and coordination between the two friendly countries, highlighting the importance of reinforcing the exchange of expertise to promote cooperation in facing ongoing emerging regional and international challenges. The meeting reviewed security cooperation and coordination to serve the interests of both friendly countries and contribute to promoting regional stability. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met the US Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs, Barbara Leaf. Leaf stressed the importance of consolidating relations and cooperation and emphasised the significance of the upcoming visit of the US President to the region to meet with the regional leaders as part of efforts to protect international peace and security. The Minister said that Bahrain keeps moving forward with its civilised approach of coexistence and reinforcing the culture of peace within the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Rashid hailed the strong ties and strategic partnerships between the two countries and the joint efforts in reinforcing regional stability and protecting international security and peace. He hailed the US counter-terrorist efforts to face Iranian interference in the internal affairs of regional countries, including Bahrain, through financing and supporting terrorist cells, supplying them with weapons and explosives and sheltering and training terrorist fugitives at the Revolutionary Guard camps along with providing media propagandas for such terrorist crimes. The Minister lauded the level of cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the US in the combat against terrorism and the exchange of expertise to face regional and international security challenges. The two sides reviewed various topics and efforts to achieve security and reinforce regional stability. The Minister of Interior also met with US Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Political and Military Affairs and Acting Coordinator of the Bureau of Counterterrorism, Timothy Betts. The US official welcomed the visitor of the Minister, highlighting its importance in developing relations between the two countries. He highlighted the continuation of the reinforcement of security cooperation and coordination and the exchange of expertise between the two countries, especially in training programmes and the latest equipment and technologies. Betts hailed Bahrain's counter-terrorist efforts and fight against all forms of terrorism support and financing. Sheikh Rashid emphasised the efforts of the Interior Ministry in protecting security and reinforcing stability through developing and modernising security work, fighting crimes, developing police operations and achieving performance excellence to provide high security services. He hailed the security cooperation and the level of exchange of expertise between Bahrain and the US as part of the strategic partnership and strong ties between the two countries. The meeting reviewed topics to develop cooperation and the significance of the joint work in various security fields, including cybersecurity, joint exercises and related MOUs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, and his Egyptian counterpart, Osama Sukri, held a press conference to deliver the joint statement between the two brotherly countries on the occasion of the Egyptian President's visit to Bahrain. Al Ziani affirmed that the official talks held between His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President were fruitful and focused on the historical relations between the two brotherly countries and the means to develop them. The two sides discussed the, uh, re the, re the, recent, uh, the, the recent challenges facing the countries of the region and they have confirmed the support to the efforts to uh, reach permanent solutions for all the uh, crises in the, in the region and enhance the joint cooperation in order to uh, reach the level uh, aspired of stability and prosperity. And in this context, the two sides confirm the importance to reach a comprehensive and just uh, settlement of the Bahraini, uh, of the Palestinian uh, Israeli uh, conflict based on the two-state uh, solution and uh, the, uh, the and the Arab uh, peace uh, initiative, and as regards the file of the Anahda uh, Anahda uh, uh, Dam, Bahrain is supporting the uh, the, se the water security of Egypt as part of the inte uh, integral part to the Arab uh, water security. 
For his part, the Egyptian Foreign Minister Sami Shukra said that the session of talks between His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President witnessed an increase in the volume of bilateral trade and cooperation between the two countries in several fields, most notably tourism, clean energy and the environment. The visit witnessed uh, deep and fruitful discussions between the two states in all fields. They discussed bilateral relations between the two states and how to enhance them and support them, especially in uh, economic wise. And uh, they discussed also how to uh, uh, increase the inter trade and support investment uh, movements and increase the level uh, of cooperation in uh, various fields, including transport, water, security, and a number of other fields. And uh, they signed a number of memorandum of, of understanding and cooperation and, uh, and economic um, cooperation uh, between the two states, uh, as mentioned by His Excellency, the Foreign Minister of Bahrain. Also discussed the, the most important uh, developments and, and issues uh, in the region and how to handle them. In, uh, we and uh, we have reached a consensus that the two states uh, should uh, protect the integration, the Arab integration to protect the uh, Arab uh, security.